anger with him yes, when I you have. speak to him? I've asked him how he could put me in this position. Have you asked him if he did it? I asked him why am I, why... Why would you... It's okay. It's not okay. Why would you leave me... With millions of I don't think that um, we got what we were looking for. She never showed any remorse. Um, even when they asked, um, Andy asked her, did you ask him why he did this? And her answer, she kind of stopped, but she was like, me, me, why me? And I think that angered a lot of people. It did me, so I'm sure it did a lot of people. Throughout the different women, um, Kyle Richards, uh, she didn't say much during the whole uh, interview. I found that in her confessionals, she was sort of leaning towards the audience, like she was agreeing with the audience. Uh, even with her husband, they were laughing at Erica and saying how ridiculous she was. So yeah, Kyle is a snake and she played both. The only reason Kyle was relevant this whole season was because of Mauricio and PK and that dinner and how hilarious it was. Um, I was actually laughing. She's been in a controlling marriage for 20 years and she's still being controlled. I think that Tom lied to Erica and Erica went along with it. There's no car rolling. There's no 12 hours unconscious. It's, to me, it's transparent. And that's highly unlikely. I mean, that guy's been active, borrowing money and doing what he's been doing for the last few years. He suddenly copped the deafen. He honey. suddenly can't remember anything and don't know who he is. Yeah, PK, she's telling me you called my husband to apologize, and I want your husband to call my husband to apologize. Well, would I call her husband? She should call her husband, because she doesn't see him very often. <laughs> Check in. How you doing, Tom? It's been six months. Oh, Erica could come out of this create a whole new life for herself. Not if she's not careful about how she conducts herself now, but you need to send out the right message, and that isn't with your legs open in stockings. I mean, that's just not the right message. When Do you have a statistics that Tom and his stepson both flip cars? I would guess they're millions and millions and millions to one. Statistically, it's basically impossible. What you're suggesting then is that Erica's not telling the truth. No, I'm it's just inappropriate at a time that this is going on. It sends a message that you don't care. But she keeps saying alleged. It's not alleged what Tom did. What's alleged is that he's lost his mind and he don't know what day it is and he can't remember 10 minutes. Without Sutton, this season wouldn't have been nearly as good as much as Erica thinks that it was all her and that she's the one that the she's the reason that the ratings are so well but it wouldn't have been so good because if you had just Kyle and Dory this whole season with them without Garcelle and Sutton we would have never gotten those questions answered we would have never had that secret uh, dinner without her we would have never had the crazy Erica we probably would have even never had the mascara scene who knows it was just we needed those ladies and they showed up Talking about the We're Erica's talking, post last yeah. night. I didn't see it. Why don't I show you? Oh, you didn't see what she posted last night? No. Oh my God. I wonder when she knew. I wonder how long she's known about this kind of like the infidelities and everything. But I had asked her, she came to my house and I said to her, is there a third party? I went to a store and this woman who's a salesperson there she said, well, I've seen Tom at a restaurant with a blonde girl that's 60 years old. It's possible. I don't know who that person uh, is. So no third party on his part? Not that I know of. Erica wasn't honest with me about Tom having an affair. But now, thinking about it, maybe she's not telling us everything. I spoke with her briefly this morning. Yes, and? About the well, lot. it was like, I did it, you know? And my divorce lawyer called me and said, you have to take that down. Right away. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. 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 So why do you think she did that? Come over here. Um, we were just talking about um, a lot of reservations about what happened in La Quinta oh. and what was said. Okay. I left La Quinta thinking 
something's amiss. Okay. And I'm sorry, I'm jumping into this. Oh, but I just gotta get it out there. Get it out. Go um, I think we are being placed in a bad position. I think that we have heard stories that to me don't add up. I left yesterday very concerned. And then I started thinking and my alarms went off and red flags started flying everywhere. I'm like, what have we gotten ourselves into? So what are you saying? You, that basically sounds like you're saying, I don't believe you, Erica, and I think you're guilty. That was, that was my question. I have questions. I am not sure how much I want to be around my friend during this time. As for Crystal Minkoff, what do you guys think of her this season? Um, I wasn't her biggest fan. I could have done without her. Um, honestly, I didn't think she brought much to the season. I wouldn't really care if they got rid of her. I like that they have someone um, Asian representing, but she was kind of a mean girl, I felt. And I don't know, I just didn't think she brought much. The only interesting thing that I thought she brought this season was the infamous leather pants. That was so funny, but again, that was sudden. But her reaction was funny, and I like the way that she handled the situation. Um, she was on the receiving end of jealous of what? Your ugly leather pants? The way Sun said it was hilarious. It's not Sorry, an apology. I take it back. Look up the word. It is an abuse of privacy, which is what you She didn't did to know me. you were naked, Crystal. No, no, she no it's didn't not even know naked. You were naked. Why are you so defensive? What was going on that you're so defensive about? You're upset because you're jealous. Period. Uh-uh. I'm out. I'm out. No, you, Crystal. That was really No, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, is she leaving? You can't do that. Oh, Hold shoot. on one second. Hang on. Go. You, it's your house. You need to get up Hang and on. do something. I know. What did you want me to say? No, ma'am. Jealous of what? Your ugly leather <gasps> pants? No, 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 no. 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 No, you no, said no, ugly no. leather pants, Let ugly leather pants. Okay, that's okay, not. Pants. Oh my god. Oh my no, no, no. god. Oh my god. What's happening? Oh my god. What happened? What am I jealous of? Are you kidding me? No. Wait, don't wait. I loved Marcel. I loved how she was so brave to speak her mind amongst these conniving, manipulative uh, women. She wasn't cowardly at all, and like the others. And uh, she wasn't cowardly at all towards Erica. She wasn't scared of her. She asked the questions that she wanted to. Her. And she was so relatable. I just love her. They have to keep Garcelle. God, Garcelle is solid. And that is why uh, Rena made up with her. It clicked in her mind in the very end. And she was like, I have to make up with her. Because last season, when I didn't make up with Denise, everyone turned on me. So she knew. She was like, I have to make up with Garcelle. That's what happened there. Yeah, Garcelle's reactions were definitely the most authentic, and it's funny to me that out of all the ladies, uh, Garcelle is the most down to earth and relatable when. There are now news outlets showing that she, in fact, did know uh, before she. Um, might file for a divorce. These are not National Enquirer posts. These are actual legal documents um, that I'll show here that show that she did know at least some stuff. These are legal sources um, and she was informed and subpoenaed before she filed. So she did know. Um, and that wraps up this season. What is next? Jen Shaw. Here we go.